Hi friends, it's Queen. Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi friend, I'm Queen. I make speed build videos in The Sims. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the YouTube shebang. I would really appreciate it. And my question of the day is, what is your favorite horror movie? What is the one that maybe you saw it when you were a kid and it really traumatized you? Okay, maybe not traumatized, maybe like really, really scared you. I think mine would be The Ring. <laughs> it scared me so much for so long. <laughs> I almost had a hard time to watch TV after that, and I thought that all the cassettes, all the... Oh my god, cassettes? Whatever it's called, I'm gonna show a picture. <laughs> I thought that all of them were like, possessed, and like, I couldn't watch any of them. <laughs> and today's speed build is about uh, the Amityville house. It's a little... <laughs> it's a lot sad. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make it not sad, because the... Um, so it's... Everybody knows this house because of all the movies they made out of it. But what some people don't know is it's an actual story that actually happened. So almost 50 years ago, in 1974, a family of seven was living in this house. There was five siblings and the parents. This house is located in the um, state of New York and is in the city of Amityville. And sadly, on November 13, 1974, the oldest son went in the bedroom of his parents and killed them both and also killed his four siblings. All of them in their bed sleeping i know it's really sad it makes me very sad to know this story to know that this kind of thing happens and i mean i tried to make this house um bef like i in my head i was doing this house before it gets renovated before all the events so i'm not doing the house that have been renovated because this house have been renovated many many times because it has it has like it has been like maybe i think it was five owners since this whole thing happened so like many people went in there and renovated the house and also they changed the actual address of the house because the address when the story happened was in it uh, was 112 ocean drive ocean avenue and now they changed it for 108 ocean drive for some reason they were trying to avoid people coming at the house and try to see the house and stuff so the whole murder thing happened sadly and so obviously the murderer is behind the bars right now and he he is doing six life sentences in jail right now. So he's not gonna get out of there. So right now you're like, Quinn, why is this house haunted now? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Cause the owner after, um, so when the whole thing happened, um, they sold the house and the people bought it for $80,000 I think and this house have a very like if you look at only the house it's like right next to the lake it have a garage where you can put your boat in and like it's it's a very nice and fancy house so for $80,000 it was really cheap and the couple that bought that house lived in it for 28 days they left because they felt something something was hunting the house they were seeing ghosts and slime coming out of keyholes and walls and waking up at 3 15 in the morning every morning because it's the time where the shooting happened they would get very cold at random moment you get the idea they were feeling that this house was hunted so they left but there's a theory that says that it might not be true. The people that lived there was very close to bankruptcy and were trying to find a way out. 
and this was their way out of it. Some people think that um, their lawyer and them were just coming up with these ideas to try to come out of their financial hole. Because every single owners that lived in that house after never experienced any paranormal activities in there. So is it true? Is it not true? Who knows? It's your choice to decide that. And the last people that bought the house bought it for $600,000 in 2017. So, and right now it's a brand new house. I can show you some picture of the before and after. It's a brand new house. When it happened, it was a dark and it's still a large home, but it's a dark home. And now they added another sunroom in the back and they added many things and many upgrade to the house. So to talk a little bit about my build, um, I didn't really okay so we have just a couple pictures of the inside of the house and for the bedrooms the only pictures that I found well I didn't look at them but the only pictures that I found on the internet was the pictures of the murder so on the pictures there is the people laying there I don't want to say gross words <laughs> So I don't, I didn't want to look at the picture. I just saw them very small and I just decided to skip. So I really guessed how the bedroom would be laid out. And it's, we saw one pic, there's like one picture of the kitchen, one picture of the living room, the sunroom, like the downstairs is, we can find some picture of it, but the upstairs is very hard. So I just winged it and for me i just i didn't want to replicate it exactly because i think it would be a little unfair <laughs> i don't know it's in my brain but i i did it in my way i tried to do the layout as as it is as it was but i'm it's really hard to find the layout of the house before all the renovations so yeah it's a pretty sad story <laughs> when i um decided to do this house i was like the house itself like let's not talk about what happened for a second <laughs> but the house itself is a little boring like for sims wise it's a box it's literally just a box and boxes in the sims are really not popular they don't look good they don't have like charisma and i don't know it's it's a box so i was really trying my best to like make it pop and make it look good and keeping it like the more accurate as I as I could and I think my house is a little smaller than their actual house uh, the their actual house cuz they had I think five or six bedrooms so and mine have only four so I'm sorry for that but I really didn't want to do like a ginormous house like I really I wasn't feeling a mansion today but reading all this stuff about the story and what happened and so, oh my goodness, hearing the documentary and like, oh my gosh, it made me so sad. So the reason why the shooting happened is he claimed that he was possessed. He claimed that he couldn't control his actions. He couldn't like, he couldn't stop it. So that's why they started to think that the house might be haunted. But he had some history of alcoholism and his dad had uh, passed with this issue too. So it's really not clear if he was actually possessed or he act on his own will. And that's even more scary. And it's important to mention here that... Um, it was his stepdad and his mom that he shot, not his actual dad, because his dad was very aggressive and was beating the children and stuff, so the mom left. But um, the stepdad had a um, history of dabbling into the occult, occult, oh my goodness, another world, oh, another word, occult, whatever, the mysterious stuff. But oh well. <laughs> Didn't try to talk about something else. <laughs> My build. So four bathroom up, uh, four bedroom upstairs, two bathroom upstairs. 
and um, in the um, little kid room I made uh, there's a door right there and it goes to upstairs and I didn't want to do anything with the upstairs so I just left it empty but I know in the movies and all there's a lot of paranormal activity going up going on up there with the creepy windows and this if you saw the movie you know what I'm talking about I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't saw the movie and doing this build I realized something I'm really not good at building anything 70s I'm a modern person I'm a modern style person and building this thing was hard so there's a garage in the back but I just decided to skip the part that I'm like furnishing it because this video was already kind of long and I it's just a garage with a car and a bicycle inside so I didn't I didn't thought that you wanted to see this the landscaping was kind of hard because the outside of this house is kind of boring like nothing is happening there's not like really flowers or anything it's like there's not many trees either it's, it's like bushes so I kind of went a little like I went creative on that one and I chose to make land do landscaping and stuff hey did you saw vlad <laughs> i used him and he died on me i used him to play test my the house and he died on me i feel like all the sims that i'm using to play test my houses die or set something on fire so right now i'm just doing the backyard real quick adding a little patio table and that's it for me Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. If you watched it all, I'm proud of you. Like A+. Plus. I like you. I like you a lot. So if you're still here, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you are not already. And on that note, I am Quinn, and you are my friend. And I love you guys. Bye! Twenty on the track.